Right, so guys, in this clip I'm going to show you how to do three different types of self-launching. Firstly, as with any self-launch, you're going to need to be on an empty beach with nobody about because it's always preferable to get somebody to launch you for safety and also ease of launching and just to make sure you don't damage your own equipment or damage yourself, always get somebody else to launch you. However, these three different techniques of self-launching will come in very useful if you're going out for solo sessions. Right, so the first type of self-launch, which I would say is the most preferable and allows you to check your own lines before you actually launch your kite, requires you to change your chicken loop to the suicide mode, take off your leash from the back of your harness, keep your leash connected to the suicide loop on your chicken loop and then go and find an object that isn't going to move and is fixed to the ground to connect your leash to. Connect your leash to it with the quick release like this and then go down to your kite and move your kite around to the correct launching orientation in the wind window. Once you've done that you should be able to sit your kite on its own at the side of the window just like that and by doing that the kite will stay there on its own and you will be able to then walk up your lines and check that everything isn't twisted before you go ahead and launch your kite. Walk back to your bar, clip your chicken loop in, disconnect your leash and then connect your leash back to your harness again to make sure everything is safe and then simply lift your kite into the air. There we go, that is a tethered launch and my method number one. So method number two is as simple as once you've rigged up your kite, leave your kite face down on the beach, walk away from it in the correct orientation of a launch, pull the back tip line, let the kite slide down the beach and then it will stool up into a simple slide launch like so. Right, method number three is a very old school method and I don't see anyone doing it very much these days and probably isn't recommended safety wise. However, if you are in a small situation where you don't want your kite to slide along the beach because of shells or anything like that, you can do this. Simply bend the tip of your kite over, cover the tip with quite a lot of sand so that it will stay in one place. If it's very windy this might be hard. Make sure your lines are completely untwisted and check them and double check them. And then go to your bar, hook in, walk away in the correct launching orientation and then just launch it as if somebody was holding it on the beach. So there you have it, that is three different self-launch techniques that will get you out on the water for a solo session.